I was watching the opening promo on AEW Dynamite this week with Matt Hardy and the Young Bucks where they requested to tag with a certain version of Matt Hardy that was a big inspiration for them. And it hit me. And here's what I tweeted. It said, positive. WWE is a strong pipeline of young talent. Negative. WWE does a poor job monetizing and celebrating its considerable history and nostalgia. It's always the same talent and moments. Matt Hardy does a better job with it than WWE. Now hold that thought. I'm going to come back to this, but this is really the point of everything, so keep this in mind. But before we get there, somebody responded to me about how WWE has marketed several books, DVDs, and WWE Network specials. I think they thought I was only talking about the Hardys, but I'm not. But my response to this person was, the Hardys had the biggest reaction at WrestleMania 33, a WrestleMania moment. And after that, they went nowhere. And I said, and this is key too, there's a big difference between licensing products and proactively selling superstars other than Hogan, Savage, Michaels, Taker, Rock, and Austin. And I go to bed and I wake up the next morning and Matt Hardy tweeted me. And again, I don't know Matt Hardy. And he says, Jim, you're correct. You're correct, Jim. We were insanely hot coming into WrestleMania 33, but our usage was squandered. Matt continues, I'm grateful for the return and my time there, but it could have been so much better, his emphasis. He continues, you can keep an act hot and a moneymaker without it being a forced focal point on the show. AEW grants me this. That is a fantastic sentence. You can keep an act hot and a moneymaker without it being a forced focal point on the show. Not to sound like Blazing Saddles, but Matt Hardy is right. Now look, the Hardys are not perfect. Nobody is. Look back, though, at what WWE has marketed with the Hardys. Addiction, infidelity, and risking injury for what they do. Does WWE ever do storylines on Hulk Hogan's infamous comments? No? Why is that? Because there's no money in it. Now compare that to how Matt Hardy presents his personal legacy right now on AEW. He's Damascus. He's a Hardy boy. He's Matt Fax. He recalls all of the different personas for fans who watched him for every generation who loved him. It's feel-good moments. Matt Hardy may right now go up and down the card, depending on the situation in AEW, but he's not washed up. The message is, Matt Hardy is still your favorite, he's still Matt Hardy, and he can still go. Sure, he's smarter, but he can still go. And it makes generations of Matt Hardy and Hardy fans feel good about watching him and following him for his career that hasn't always been fun to watch. He had some time on some very shaky ground for a while, and I just want to say, in real life, I'm happy for the person now that he's a father with a beautiful family, a gorgeous house, and is not a wrestling tragedy when when really he could have been. I'm very happy for Matt. And today, Matt Hardy has got more characters than the big show has had heel turns. Whether he's from the 2000s or 3,000 years ago, Matt Hardy is playing a new character right now. A new unspoken character that he's never played in WWE. Dignified Matt Hardy. WWE. Give us dignified Jeff Hardy. Jeff's earned it. The fans want it. The fans have earned it. And dignified Jeff Hardy will also earn something for you, WWE. Money. Fans will pay to see it and have their memories rewarded. WWE, put smiles on people's faces. Even if they're the fans of the Hardy Boys.